the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. I give God the glory for this um, great thing the Lord is doing in the presence of his children. And I thank God for the church, for our father and mother in the Lord. I thank God for all the ministers in the house, Pastor Namdi, Mumi Namdi, coach and everybody. <laughs> I thank God for my brother, Brother Ray, Sister Lola, everyone. The Lord will continue to keep us together for his kingdom in Jesus' name. Pastor said I should say something about <laughs> our brother Mike. <laughs> okay, about my dear. That means said I should not call Brother Mike today. <laughs> but I said, okay, God will help me. But what I will say starts with Brother Mike. <laughs> so let me say something now. I called him Brother Mike. Before I ever knew he would be the man I would spend my life with. Well respected by brethren back then in the campus. Very strong, full of zeal. Focus on the things of God, especially in drama ministry. I got so attracted to him, especially for his love and zeal for God. When I was praying for whom to marry, I told God, give me a man with whom to serve you. Little did I know what, was, what I was asking for until Brother Mike became my husband. <laughs> Thank you. I saw a man, I saw a man of rugged feet. A man who will not bow for defeat or failure. A man who will rise up fast and still keep moving. I saw a man whose focus is heaven. My feet were stretched in the course of following this man. But the Lord taught me to follow. Even at times when he failed, I pointed it to God. The Holy Spirit will still encourage me to keep following. Really, it has not been easy following Mike. Many at times I grumbled in my spirit Asking God why I need to agree with him. I mean, Brother Mike, on everything, when I'm not stupid. But he has always told me that is where your wisdom is. Today, I'm starting to testify before God and all his children that I have no regrets at all following my... Thank you. Today I'm starting to testify before God and all his children that I have no regret at all following my own mic. Abayomi Uluwa Soji Bamilui. You are a great man because you love and fear God. You are not perfect, no but you love God. You are very strong, faithful, and good husband. You taught me to be closer to God when I see the kind of man you are. You brought out the gift of God in me, always telling me that I can do it. These 30 years is like yesterday, but to make, because you make our home joyful, and the journey is so lively. As you are moving to the next phase, I see you going in greater grace, with greater anointing to bless the world. And I promise by his grace to keep loving, submitting, and following you to fulfill all your dreams and visions in Jesus' name. Thank you. 
I love you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. When she came to me yesterday, she said, Pastor said we should write something. I've written my own. I said, let me see what you, wrote, you have written. He said, no. They didn't say we should show. So I now, I now went to pray so that I can write my own. So Gloria, the most precious gift. <laughs> on the 8th, on the October 8th, 1988, October 8th, 1988, on our wedding day, a member of our ministry met me as I was coming out of the wedding reception and said this profound statement that I have never forgotten since that day. She said, Brother Mike, our ministry has now just begun. And that was after three years that our ministry had begun. A ministry member saying it was the day I got married, the ministry actually began. I did not understand the statement until I began to understand through diverse experiences. Today, on the 30th year of the, of the marriage that began 30 years ago, I can confidently say with proper understanding that I will never have gotten any successful ministry without you, Gloria Olushola Alaba. If my God had not had mercy on me and had and, he, and, and prevented all those sisters I had blindly, blindly proposed to initially and turned down my proposal. <laughs> if any of them had said yes to my proposal, I would have missed it in life and forever because I would have missed marrying you, Gloria Olushola. But God had mercy on me. They all turned down my proposal. <laughs> and, I, and I thought God was against me, not knowing that God was planning my future for me by guiding my feet to the actual bowl of my bone and flesh of my flesh. I therefore thank the Lord God of heaven that I did not make the greatest mistake of my life because I found you. I count myself very fortunate in life for getting married to you. No wonder things are working well for me. No wonder I'm succeeding in ministry. No wonder I'm looking younger as I grow in age. You have not, you have not overused me. I thank you. I thank you for managing my issues and challenges. No wonder I have the peace I have. And no wonder I, had, I have the children, the wonderful children I have. Dami, Joshua, and Oluwadara. Who will have given birth to this type of classy, highly intelligent, multi-talented children? like this ones, if not someone like you, Gloria Olushola Alaba. I know I have not loved you enough. I'm trying to read some books on how to undo, how to undo gold. So I'm trying to know how to love someone like you. I am eager to learn how to love you as expected. Many times, my ministerial duties have taken me away 
from you, I know. I am in between two options many times, you know, to give you all the time you deserve or to attend to the compulsory ministerial duties. But you are more than ministerial duties. But at the same time, I must walk the walk of him that sent me while it is day. <laughs> because the night comes, why no one can walk again? And then I will remember that Jesus had said that, that's, uh, that Jesus that said that statement wanted me to give you the quality time you deserve. And there is, this is where I have failed many times. And this is where I ask for your forgiveness today. Forgive all those times I have not given you the time you deserve. I will try and change. <laughs> Forgive all those times I have shouted at you when I am under pressure of ministry and domestic needs. I'm, I will try and trust God more and contain my emotion. Forgive all those times I have bumped on you with crazy, outrageous visions and missions which I said I received from God, and I have not given you enough time to think about it and absorb it. I will try and find a better way to present my visions and missions which the Lord lay on my heart. Gloria Olushola Alaba. You are a very big, voluminous book. I have not read the book to a quarter of it. I'm still discovering fantastic hidden riches locked up in the book day by day. And the more I read the book, the more I discover the riches you carry. You are a very dutiful wife. You give me good food at home, so I don't have any reason to eat elsewhere. You are deep and spiritual, so I don't have any spiritual issues to settle with you. You feed your children well with the word of God, and you are very submissive. No wonder my children no wonder my children, Damian and Joshua, have always been praying that the Lord will give them a wife like their mommy. And that was why it took them a long time to find a lady like her mother. Because they are very scarce. And that has been why the Lord answered our prayers. By giving him a lady that will be better than her mother. Oh, Gloria, Olushola, you are a real gem. I thank the Lord for your life. I'm so fortunate I was bold enough to approach you that day and propose to you 33 years ago. And I thank the Lord you obeyed the Lord to answer to my proposal. I thank the Lord we are married 30 years ago. I thank the Lord we are blessed with this wonderful ministry. I thank the Lord we are blessed with wonderful children. I thank the Lord who are blessed with fantastic ministry members. And I thank the Lord you, has, you have supported me all these days till now. I thank the Lord for your life. I love you then, and I still love you now. And I will continue to love you for life. And in heaven, since the Lord said two shall become one, I am certain that we shall live together in one big mansion in heavenly city. When we are done in this world, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. I'm speechless. I was, tears were coming out, and I tried to tell myself, it's the keyboard, it's too emotional. <laughs> so, that is an amazing father. I first of all want to thank God for giving me great parents, for giving me parents that are embodiments of everything God, Christ-like, and humble father, humble mother. I thank God for everything, and that's from my heart I'm saying this. Earlier this year, we were telling mom that, mom, you need to remove that brother, Mike. That brother, brother, because since I grew up, it has always been 
Brother Mike, Brother Mike, Brother Mike, Brother Mike. <laughs> In fact, it got to a point that instead of calling dad when I was small, like two years or one year, Brother Mike. <laughs> you know, because, because that's what I grew up hearing. But beyond the, the words, it's, it's, mom is a fantastic mother. The money devotion. She handles the money devotion. And our morning devotion is like a service on its own. Sometimes it goes one hour, two hours. It's so serious because sometimes the sin you want to commit, you will hear mommy confessing the sin to you. You will hear mommy telling you you are going, it's like it's, there's an anointing in the devotion. For example, you may want to steal something. And mommy, like, mommy will be like, some of you will be in this house and you will want to steal. I don't know how she gets to know all these things. Was like God reveals it to her. That's the kind of family we grew up from. As I was telling, I said earlier that this year we told mom that mommy, please don't call Brother Mike again. Mommy said, What should I call him? I said, Just anything. The other name is Sweetheart. Honey. <laughs> mommy, coach was just saying we should try B. Different things. <laughs> so early this year, mommy was calling. Okay, mommy said I would try. Daddy was in the next room and mommy was calling. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, sweetheart. Then she switched it. Brother Mike, that, yes? <laughs> uh, he, was, he was at that point. It was at that point I knew it is over. It's officially it's Brother Mike. <laughs> you know, but really, I'm grateful to God for the parents I have. When I was younger, I was almost turning to a rascal. I was going, I joined bad friends, I was following bad friends, I was, I was going astray. So I, I did not have any regards to my parents. I disrespected my mom and my dad. You know, mom would ask me to do something, I would try to go my own way. So it got to the point, it became very terrible. Mom was so angry and she was so furious. I was talking back, I was angry, daddy got angry. And for the first time, it, it came to me. He used the belt, belt on me and everything. I got so angry and I went upstairs. Just as I was fuming, I was fuming and I was telling myself, I was, so many thoughts were coming to my mind. The next day, he called me, he said, Dami, he said, sir. And I was going to approach him, like, I was like, I don't care again. Then he held my hands and said, I don't like beating you. I love you. That word broke me down. I would say spare the rod and spoil the child, that's important. But there's something about the power of love. And I see it coming out from my parents' life. And that has transformed me because I could see the reflection of God in him. Thank you so much for being great parents. And I love you. Praise the Lord. I just knew I was talking. I was going to talk just now. So <laughs> so they had time to prepare. <laughs> so, amen. And first of all, I'd like to thank um, the church. I'd like to thank Pastor, Daddy, Mommy. This is a huge privilege. Each time we come here and we see the, um, the entourage and everything, I'm always like, ha, ah, this is too much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, <clears throat> my parents. Um, I'll just give a short scenario like that. I, I'm also speechless, first of all. That we started Because <laughs> Dad has said a lot, and Dami has also said a lot. But the scenario I would give, the point in time when my life changed was um, in, in secondary school, in high school, when I was also going into a new world. It was a new world for me. The era when um, uh, youthful exuberance was strong and I liked keeping diaries, journals of my experiences because it was new for me. And uh, I don't know how they found my diary. And so they took my diary and kept it under there and called me and said, Joshua, how are you school? I said, school is fine. How are, you, how are your friends' experiences? I said, wonderful. And I said, are you sure? Anything you want to tell us? No, I'm fine. I said, because we've seen your diary. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, of course, at that point, you know, it's not a beating matter. So they talked. 
You know, you see someone talks to you, and you cry, eyes, nose, mouth. <laughs> so, from that moment onward, after the talk that night, the following day, I broke the relationship with all those friends. Mom convinced me to join the fellowship, and that was in SS1, that was in grade um, nine. And from that point, things started changing for me. And it just shows the importance of how they monitored us, how they, and dad was always very particular. You know, there are a lot of people who already know what they want their children to do. You, you are going to do this. You, you'll be a doctor. You, you'll be a lawyer. You, you'll be an engineer. But my parents are more of the observing type. They watched to see the level of interest. So right from time, when they saw my interest in art, they gave me the encouragement and tailored it to God. When they saw my interest in music, gave the encouragement, tailored it to God. And so as I am now, I, can't, I can never say, oh, it was my skill, it was, my, it was, it was all God in them. And for that, I'll be everly grateful. So thank you very much for the encouragement. Thank you for the words of this, the, the, the strict words that they gave me. Yeah, sometimes they see me do some things and they'll say, oh, man. That old man is worse than king. <laughs> and then the new one that me and my brother is say, oh, we're descending. <laughs> so, uh, so all those words, I mean, when they, when they talk to you and then they encourage you and then, you know, those things are what has made me where I am today. And for that, I'll be very grateful. Thank you very much for my dad. Church, I thought we'll stand up and just give the Lord a big, big hand of praise. Glory be to God. Of course, it's a very special service and, you know, it's, we are not, you know, rushing things because you will have had some things that will help you with your own children, that will help you in your own family. This is what I believe fellowship should be about. When you leave church, you have so much to meditate on. So it's Thanksgiving time. If it's your birthday, wedding anniversary, special Thanksgiving, dance forward. The ushers will help us go everywhere to receive the Thanksgiving offering. But we must dance really very well. We must dance very well. Glory be to God. My drama ministers, I mean, um, Bro EJ, I mean, you can join them as well. You can join them up. Uh, Sister Ogumala, Bro Victor, you can join them up. I mean, all the drama ministers that are here can join them in the Thanksgiving up. All right, let's do it now. Your love is so great. You are merciful and gracious. You redeemed my soul from every destruction. I will sing your praise. I will dance and lift you I, I, You mean so much to me, Jesus. No one like you. There's no one like you. No, no, no one like you. He never would have known it. There's no one like you. 
pray to God. Where we are going to be praying for them together. So let's please stretch forth our hands towards Daddy, Mommy, and the entire Bamloe family and Grandma family. Let's just commit them afresh into the hands of the Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you for making a day like this possible. Please be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the testimonies that we have had. It could only have been possible because of your mercy and faithfulness. Again, please accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is written in your word. It says, remember ye not the former things. So neither consider ye the things of old. Say, so behold, I will do a new thing. For the entire Bamiloye family, please do a new thing. Something heavenly, Amen. something divine, Amen. something miraculous, Amen. something only you, God, can do. Amen. Do for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. You said it shall spring forth. Father, please do it quickly. Amen. Do it speedily. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You said I will make a way in the wilderness. Father, in their wilderness, please make a way for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, rivers shall flow in the desert. In their desert areas, my Lord and my God, please.